I want to welcome you to the Ask Jeff YouTube channel. Here's today's question. So if the Gospels were written by the apostles, witnesses, how did they write about Jesus being tempted in the desert? Like none of them witnessed that, so how can we trust that what they said was true? This is a really great question that doesn't just apply to Jesus in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights. It applies to a whole lot of scriptural passages. How about John chapter 17, the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus' private prayer with the Father, that's an entire chapter. How about what we know is the first 11 chapters of Genesis that Moses in no way could have been there to observe? Well, the answer is multi-layered. Allow me to begin and then end kind of in a circular fashion. 2 Timothy 3.16 says this, all scripture, including Matthew 4 and the temptation of Jesus Christ, is inspired not by personal witness, not by personally being there, but by the Spirit of God. In fact, in what we know is 2 Timothy or 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 20, it says that the scriptures were given to us in days of old by men who the Spirit of God inspire. So number one, you have the Spirit of God speaking to these individuals what scripture needs to be. Now, the issue is, okay, so he's speaking, but they weren't there. There's this real important passage per this question in the book of Acts chapters 1 through 3 that says that after Jesus rose from the dead, that he showed himself to his disciples with many infallible proofs, teaching them and leading them, listen, for 40 days. In fact, one of the things that you discover is not only the Spirit of God moving through these respective writers, but you also have individuals such as Matthew and Luke and John and others who spent time, quote unquote, with Jesus as he communicated things that the scriptures don't tell us exactly what he shared in those three verses of Acts chapter one, but obviously it could have been something related to this particular question. Here's the full circle at the end of the day. It is the Spirit of God that spoke through Moses, through Joshua, through David, through Matthew, through Mark, through Paul, all of them to give us that which we have known as scripture, which according uh, to 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, it is profitable for doctrine, for rebuke, for exhortation. It is for our benefit so that we might be perfected in Christ. So again, it's the spirit of God that inspires. However, per this one question, you have those verses and acts that could give a little clarity. Great question. If you have one, send it to askjeff.net. Maybe your question will be tomorrow's. Thanks for being a part of today's daily question. And we answer a question each and every day. Please feel free to submit a new question at askjeff.net. We may not have gotten to yours today, but we eventually will continue to be a part of this. Subscribe so you don't miss out on a question every day.